You're watching Backyard Tech. Okay. Now, depending on how open-minded you are about this will be how you view this video. There are those of us in the world that use Android-based devices, whether you're talking tablets or mobile phones. And some of those people believe that they are 100% secure from vulnerabilities. The flip side to the coin is there are those of us out there who swear by iOS-based devices. And again, there are a, a fraction of those who believe that their device is 100% secure and that iOS will protect them and never get hacked. Unfortunately, a spanner has been thrown in the works by Google researchers. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, six serious zero interaction vulnerabilities have been found in iOS. Five have been fixed, but one hasn't been. From the Backyard Tech Channel, this is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Wednesday morning to kick off midweek here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And uh, this one cropped up in my news feeds overnight. Now, as I said, I'm not... You guys know I use Android, but I know that Android is not 100% safe and secure. Okay? You have to make it safe and secure. And the same is said for iOS as well. However, like I said, there are a fraction of iOS users who believe iOS is foolproof. That nothing, you know, it'll never get hit. And yet Apple has been a victim of attacks in the past. This is from 9 to 5 Mac. Six serious zero interaction vulnerabilities found in iOS. One not yet fixed. Google security researchers have dis discovered six so-called zero interaction iOS vulnerabilities. Bugs that can allow an attacker to take control of the phone without the user having to do anything other than receive and open a message. Now, this can happen in Android as well, by the way. Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that this doesn't happen under Android. I'm saying it does. In fact, most Android users know of the vulnerability in that, in, in that platform as well. Um... Five of them have been fixed in iOS 12.4, but Apple has not yet been able to completely close the sixth one. ZDNet reports that Google has published proof of concept code to exploit the bugs fixed by Apple. Um, you guys can read through those. I'll leave a link in the description below. Although Apple attempted to remove all six vulnerabilities in iOS 12.4, Google says that it didn't completely succeed with one of them. Details of the remaining five exploits will be shared at the Black Hat Security Conference in Las Vegas next week. In keeping with responsible practice, Google first reported the issues to Apple in order to allow it to issue patches before the team revealed the details. Google actually told Apple... Okay, um, yeah. Uh, zero interaction or frictionless vulnerabilities are particularly dangerous. Most iOS and macOS exploits work by tricking the user into running an app or revealing their Apple ID credentials. A zero interaction one doesn't rely on anything other than opening a message. Sylvan Ovich said that the message could be sent via SMS, MMS, iMessage, mail, or even visual voicemail. Such discoveries are worth huge sums of money on the black market, 
with both corporations and governments keen to buy them. If you haven't yet updated to iOS 12.4, now would be a good time to do so. Many bad actors exploit vulnerabilities after they have been published, knowing that there's a high percentage of device owners who don't update promptly. Now, I could really put the cat amongst the pigeons here and say, I told you so that iOS is not 100% foolproof. I won't. Um, because as Android users, I know that the Android base can be exploited just as quickly as iOS can be exploited. In fact, that's well documented. It does worry me, though, that Apple, who pride themselves on being able to fix bugs quickly, can't get around this sixth problem. What does surprise me is that Google told Apple before they released their details. You'd think Google would want to embarrass Apple. The pessimistic view would be that Google wanted to exploit that vulnerability and prove that Apple is not foolproof. I find it very weird that Google actually decided to tell Apple before releasing its findings. Now, some of you may not. I do. I would have thought Google would go to town on this. If you look at Google's mentality, and you've got to remember, I, I'm, I'm with Android, so I use Google every day. You'd think with Google's mentality, they'd want to exploit this problem to gain traction with the Android system. And yet before going public or saying anything, Google's, you know, got on the blower to Apple and, they, and, and basically, you know, to put old mate's spin on it, right? <laughs> they got on the blower to Apple and gone, hey, listen, fellas, you got a bit of a problem here. We're going to give you an opportunity to do attempt to fix this before we release our details and findings. I would have thought Google would go to town on them. That's just me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm surprised that Google didn't go to town on Apple. But uh, there we go. So, for those Apple users out there that believe that uh, their iOS device is impenetrable, you might want to update to iOS 12.4 sooner rather than later. Stick around. Another news story coming up shortly. Have a good one all. Cheers.